Hello and welcome to a new developer video log from Rainware. Today I would like to speak a little bit about Timber Tales that was my first release and I recently patched a lot to Timber Tales in the last 4 weeks. So I did 4 patches, every week 1 patch and I want to go through my changes and talk a bit about the game today. Lately I didn't record so much videos and I am pretty sorry for that but at the moment I didn't feel very confident about video making because my situation as indie developer is quite hard at the moment. Um, there is no money left for me and I spent all of my time in the last weeks into Timber Tales to actually <laughs> go down with my first release. Yeah, actually I'm looking for a way how I could stay in the game developer but at the moment there isn't any money left as I said and I will have to do some freelance work or looking for a job in general and afterwards even if I have uh, gathered some cash I'm not sure if I want to continue uh, the indie business because it actually yeah, it cost me so much uh, of my of my lifetime I would say and uh, I invested a lot of passion a lot of uh, sorts a lot of uh, time etc and nothing of that pays off actually and also I haven't the feeling that I'm very connected with the gamers at all if uh, if there are any gamers who actually want to play my games so I'm at the moment I'm struggling very very hard and I'm thinking about giving yeah giving up as an indie game developer but nevertheless this is at the moment a very very hard time as I said but I want to continue with this developer log. So let us hop into the Timber Tales game and I show you some of the changes I've made uh, last weeks. I was pretty passionate about them. And yeah, actually most of them are more of uh, cosmetic changes, but there are also some gameplay changes and I would like to show you the changes and also would like to comment some of the stuff. I hope the video is working this time. I already recorded it completely and then I saw that my picture wasn't moving at all. So I have to restart it and to re-speak everything. That's always the same with grading videos. Sometimes the technical part isn't working as expected. So um, here we are in my game Timber Tales. If you don't know it already, uh, we have a turn-based strategy game in a very very unique uh, forest uh, timber theme I would say um, normally you have turn-based strategy games more like yeah in some kind of world war scenario where you move your tanks or army soldiers etc in my game we have uh, some animals and we have insects which are actually fighting against each other and I think this is a kind of unique in the turn-based strategy genre Another point is the graphic art is completely hand-drawn. It looks kind of cute and also some kind of casual, but please don't uh, let you fool. The game is more complex than it looks on the first view. So most of the guys or most of the gamers think the game is very childish or yeah, casual because of the graphics, but actually it isn't. It is a very, very complex turn-based strategy game and I will show you that in a minute. In the last four weeks I released four patches with uh, major and minor updates. I would like to cover it a little bit and also uh, command it a little bit. So I want to give my uh, developer commands to it why I changed something or why I not changed something and uh, why I think it had to be changed or not. Um, also I'm pretty sorry that the game is uh, on German for now but as I will command all the stuff I think it won't distract you. Let us start with the main menu. Um, four weeks ago we had a lot of more buttons right here because there was also multiplayer and in arena mode which was also player versus player. I removed them for now because I want to focus the game more on a single player experience and since there aren't uh, very much players at the moment the multiplayer and arena doesn't work at all because you don't find any opponents and this is uh, frustrating so I thought about or I decided to remove it for now and bring it back later when the game is properly polished, I would say. I also removed some of the more mobile stuff, I would say. So the Facebook button and the Twitter button was in there. I removed them. Um, that said, I also removed the mobile versions of the game. So there is no cross-platform gaming anymore. The game is now focused on PC, Linux and OS X. Yeah, that far for the main menu. 
in the options we have for now two new things the first thing is uh, camera follows the units so this is a game option where you can set it to true or not true um, if you would like to follow the units with your camera i will show you that in a minute in game what it has yeah what it offers or what it changes in the game and another thing is i added the refresh rates to the resolution and you are also able to scroll up and down here to choose them because before it was just a long list which doesn't fit into <laughs> the display at all or to the window so i had to change that and now we are able to scroll here and also change our refresh rates another thing is you can now play it in a window mode in the window full screen mode and this allows us to alt tap and switch the applications without leaving the game and you can also come back to the game this is working for now yeah and i'm pretty proud of this because uh, based on the lip gdx where the game is written in um, i had some problems with the borderless full screen window mode i'm very happy that it's working now with window full screen mode on windows uh, one more part uh, i added uh, tooltips for now so the game now has actually tooltips so if we hover some things in game or in the menu you can see a tooltip right here um, what I don't know is why this one is English and this one is German. I have to check this out why that's a problem. But yeah, we have now two tips. I implemented them. We don't had them before because as I said, there was, there was cross-platform gaming and for mobile, we of course don't had any two tips. And so I had to implement them and yeah, they are now working and we can use them on different places. So let us check out the in-game changes. The first change you see on the first view is that the map is already revealed at this moment we enter this mission before we had all covered in black tiles and you could only see your small part where you actually start and all seeing all tiles of the map where you don't had any vision were just blacked out the problem with that is that most of the screen were covered in black and i think it, it doesn't make a good first impression so i revealed the, the map completely and you can now see the whole map on the start but of course it's covered in fog of war and you won't see anything which lies behind the tiles. So this makes a much more user-friendly impression, I would say. That's the first change. The second change is the water. For the water I changed the color a bit. It was more like a green tone before. And we had a different yeah, wave shader, I would say. So I modified a little bit the waves and the shader of the water and also the color of the water and I think it looks now a little bit more cooler and more fitting to the tiles. Yeah, these are the first two changes. Let us go on. Yeah, another change you can already see is the idle animation for all our animals and insects. Yeah, our idle animations before were just a little bit slow and yeah, we're just a little bit slow and, and not very visible. So I changed all of the idle animations and we now have uh, completely new idle animations for every animal and for every insect. So as you can see, most of the animals are now moving and yeah, idling in some way. And this makes the whole game a little bit more animated. And I also think the idle animations looks quite good for most of the animals and most of the parts. And yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with those. I made them all by myself and uh, was actually the first time that I worked with Puppet Wrap on Photoshop and it uh, worked quite well. And I'm pretty proud of these idle animations. Um, another thing which changed is the attack animation for the for tails. Um, before it was just the hole or something like that. And now we have the bite animation where he actually is biting the enemy. I think this is, was... Uh, quite needed because it doesn't feel it doesn't felt very good before and now I think it's much better fitting to the game um, you could also see another change already if you have uh, observed it correctly and um, we are now able to move through friendly units before it was not able to move over friendly units and we blocked ourselves and um, yeah i changed that because many of you like uh, would like to move over friendly units and it absolutely makes sense so i changed that and i think it changed also a lot of the gameplay um, and this change was quite good for everyone and it also offers a lot of more a lot more strategical 
strategical decisions for now so yeah you're just more free and open to to do different moves and this is quite cool i think it of course <laughs> on the first changes uh, it created a lot of bugs because uh, it wasn't intended that you go through the units yeah also there are a lot of sound changes from for the animals and for the insects so um, before i had a, a lot of general sound effects and much animals or most animals had the same sounds and i tried to make them more unique so some of them now have absolutely unique uh, running sounds death sounds attack sounds i try to find as much as possible the problem is i'm no audio composer and i have to live with sound effects from the internet i just can edit them a little bit in audacity which i have also done a little bit but uh, of course it's it's quite hard to find fitting sound files and i have i have had the biggest problem with that so if you are an audio composer or interested in working together with me please let me know um, i would love to have uh, better fitting sound effects because i think this topic is quite hard and it's very hard to implement the right sounds for the right animals with the in the right moment so if you are interested in working with me please let me know i would act actually love to have better sounds at all so as i said we have the tooltips implemented and just to show you oh, it's working now yeah uh, we also have some tooltips now in game uh, which we hadn't before so i want to expand them also in future updates that we have more tooltips for the animals for the tiles so you can, uh, could actually check out everything with tooltips and get more information about it. So we are now able to actually add tooltips in game, which is uh, very cool and could be used in several ways and uh, yeah, quite a lot of different ways. So I have to check my list. I also forgot to say that we now have the drop shadows behind the units. Um, before we don't had any shadows and I added a drop shadow to every unit Also, this is a change where I'm pretty proud of because I did it to myself and I am no art guy But I have uh, done it with Photoshop and <laughs> I think it's looking very very nice Especially if you compare it with the look from before I had posted some stuff on Twitter to that and when you compare the units with shadow and without shadow it's just a huge difference and yeah, it also makes the game feel and look so much better than before. Yeah, I think I covered uh, mostly the most major changes I've made to the game. Um, of course, as I said, there are a lot of minor changes. Um, I fixed some of grammatical change, <laughs> grammatical stuff in the campaign. So uh, I removed some typos which were reported from you guys. Thank you for that. Um, I... Yeah, just proofread some of the text and just replace a lot of the, the text. Um, I adjusted the balancing of the campaign quite a bit. So um, it should be a little bit more easier in some missions than before. And we also have some changes to the speak dialogue in the campaign. Um, before it was just uh, gone through with a time delay. Now you have to actually click and to remove it. But that are pretty much minor things. Um, as I said, there are also a lot of sound changes you have to discover or you can discover in the game. I'm also working on that. Uh, if I find better fitting sounds, um, I will also get yeah, the work in progress thing. Um, yeah, I also added the rich prisons for Steam. Um, so that's a feature when you're actually in the campaign, it's shown to your Steam friends. And uh, if you're in the main menu, it's also shown for your Steam friends. So um, the status in your friends overview is a little bit changed from the game um, yeah i think it was a quite it's a quite nice feature and so i just implemented it doesn't took me very long so i thought it was a good idea to just implement it we removed the game from the play store and ios store and focused on the pc version i said that we have to drop shadows on all units so below them is a shadow now we have new idle animations for all units I improved the water with color with a new pattern and a new shader. Um, the black tiles on start of a mission were removed and you can now see the map completely covered in fog of war. Uh, before we had some clouds moving from the left to the right which was a pretty simple implementation. I find it very distracting so I removed the clouds completely 
before I came up, I come up with a better solution. So for now we don't have any clouds and I think it's yeah, quite better now. Um, of course I fixed a lot of bugs. There were some textures missing. There were some crash bugs for the game. I uh, yeah, it's also a work in progress. There are also there are often reported some new bugs and I try to fix them as fast as possible, of course. There have been a lot of changes to the animation, as I said. Um, there are new idle animations, there are some new attack animations. I increased uh, the time for some animations to make it not so rushed as it was before. Um, we have some better fitting sounds, as said. We have a new ambient sound, which hopefully is fitting better than before. Um, I removed the survival chance from the unit. Yeah, I forget to, to tell this one. So before we had a 10% chance uh, that a unit would survive a deadly strike. Uh, but this was quite random. As I said, it was based on a 10% chance. And it doesn't feel great. So if you attack an enemy which should die and then it survives somehow, uh, for you as a player it, it's not a good feeling. And even for yourself, if your unit survives when it should be dead, um, it feels too random, so you can't rely on yeah, it will survive or will not survive because it's just a 10% chance and so I find it very Yeah Not it, it doesn't felt very good it was not rewarding at all and so I removed it completely So this chance doesn't exist anymore and I think it makes the game better than before so as said, we have in the main menu the focus on the PC game. So I have removed some buttons for now, which will be come back in the future. But for now, I will focus on the single player part aspect of the game. We added the tooltips. I talked about that. We have in-game tooltips. I said that. I have tweaked some times of the walking times and the attack times. So some attacks are now a little bit slower than before. Some of them a little bit faster than before. So. Everything should now feel a little bit better uh, animation wise. I also reworked some of the animations as said already. In the third week I added the rich presence for Steam. I talked about that. I had made some balance changes to the campaign. And we had made a lot of sound changes. So new attack sounds, new hurt sounds, new running sounds. I corrected a lot of typos and grammar. Uh, mistakes in the campaign and on the game in general. Um, I added the refresh rates to the resolutions in the options. We have now a window mode which is borderless and full screen able to use on Windows. Uh, a lot of bug fixes. You are now able to move through friendly units. I talked about that feature. I think it's one of the biggest uh, gameplay features actually. There will also be some combat changes upcoming in the next weeks. So uh, I first covered some mistakes I made earlier in the game development. And I think I'm now in a good state to actually add some new features or change some things on the core feature. On the core gameplay, better said. Um, I adjusted some, some sounds in the volume wise. So most of them should be on the same pitch now. The last thing I forgot to say was the camera following and not following. So we have in the options the camera follow units, which you can toggle on and off. If it's off, it's like that I'm playing right now. So I can move my units here and my camera stays in this place where I actually move it to. And there is nothing happen automatically. If I set the option to it should follow the units, what it does is, if I now move my units, the camera is automatically follow every action my unit is doing. And so you can decide if you would like to have a jumping around camera or if you want to have the camera stay in place where you actually want to have it. Um, I received the feedback that some of the people find it very distracting. If the camera is always jumping around, I had that as a standard option before. And now you can just uh, deactivate it in the options if you would like to and then the camera stays in place. So that's it. That's actually it what I changed in the last four weeks. I find it's quite a lot and I worked very very hard to achieve everything. At the moment I'm trying to get some feedback. I'm trying to get the word spread about the game. I try to get some influencers covering the game. 
and to get some players back into the game because one of my biggest uh, wishes is to have actually uh, uh, a bigger player base so we can actually add multiplayer again and can have fun with player versus player i would love to have that one so i hope you liked my dev talk for today um, i would like to make some more videos in the future so if you liked it please leave a comment below subscribe to my channel please it would help me a lot and i am appreciated of course very very much and so i would say we see us in the next video or you read us on steam make sure to check out my dev blog i put in the link below there is also some insights behind the game also some insights behind the development progress and stuff like that um yeah check out my steam page and consider buying the game if you actually haven't already and you like the game see you bye